Libra, what's good? It is time for your weekly reading for July 25th through 31st. Ooh, I'm breathing in that smoke, Palo Santo. <laughs> Palo Santo, breathing it in, breathing it in. Cleansing everything on this table. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, please cleanse the energy of every tool I'm using on this table. Cleanse my own energy and aura. Let's welcome in the energy of the collective sign of Libra. And we're going to just begin. So I hope y'all are good. The first readings I did yesterday were, it's like they progressively got crazier. And like mixed up. It was such a strange vibe. Like Leo, I think especially, it started off so nice. And then there was some bullshit, like some bullshit hidden. I don't know if you're dealing with anything like that, Libra. I hope not. But anyone who's doing stuff in the dark, they're going to get found out. And I feel like that's, you know, just kind of a sign of the times right now. With the Aquarius energy, it's like people who have been trying to hide things, it's not working anymore. Generally. So you're going to see a lot of readings, and you probably are, about people getting found out and hiding things. That, things they've been hiding for years that are starting to be seen. We're starting off with the Six of Pentacles and this freaking lover's card again, which was haunting me yesterday. <laughs> Let's see, what else wants to come out for the beautiful sign of Libra? My Venus is in Libra and Vedic and Western, and so I consider Libra like my truest sign because it's the same in each, Western and Vedic. We got the Six of Wands. We got the Knight of Swords again. He came out a lot yesterday too. See if we can get one more card. One major arcana out so far. Mm, oh. And this one again. And this is a lot, like I was saying, it's like a theme right now for everyone. Let me just slide this candle on. Slide to the left. It's almost like a theme of people just getting found out for things they were doing unfairly hiding things since like at the bottom of the deck overall we have the page of pinnacles some kind of news that's going to be coming in oh there's a fly flying around my apartment and i swear i cannot catch this thing like i cannot so page of pinnacles like look how he looks a little bit worried there some kind of news like i feel like there's an anticipation of some kind of message and maybe that message is finally coming and with the major arcana here being the lovers, there's going to be a choice, or this could, you know, heavily have to do with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, perhaps. And then there's the judgment. So it's like, mm, perhaps this other person, this other air sign, there's going to be judgment on this person for some kind of message that's coming through. It looks like starting off with the Six of Pentacles, there could have been a situation where there was a lack somebody was holding something over your head is what i'm feeling like not even maybe blatantly holding something over your head but just kind of being snarky toward you or looking down on you in some way and possibly influencing others to view you the same they may have even been saying this about you to other people about your character the six of wands is here so it's like somebody was feeling really victorious and slandering you but then the Knight of Swords is here, like, gunning to chop this person down off this horse. So the, the Knight of Swords is about to cut down this person on the Six of Wands. They're right next to each other. Can you see that? Coming in fast. And it's the sword, so it's some kind of communication, some kind of truth, I think, that's coming from this Page of Pentacles. So with the Pentacle being there for the... For the page i feel like it's a true message some kind of truth that's coming in because it's earth energy not that earth energy is always true but earth energy is typically the most dependable of the four the most grounded energy so it's like something maybe this person who's been bullshitting will not be able to deny which nobody can deny i don't know i can't remember what song it is right now but let's get to clarifying can we get some clarity on the Six of Pentacles, please? Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides that surround with love, support, truth, 
and guidance when necessary. And it's necessary right now. <laughs> what about the Six of Pentacles with the... I was about to say with the Gemini, but with the levers. What about the Six of Pentacles with the levers? You got the world reversed. It just flew out. I'm not going to turn it up right because it flew out reversed, like furiously. Hmm. So this could be something like a stale situation that should have ended a long time ago. Could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um... It may be a man or a woman, but this is usually a card of someone with the energy I'm feeling right now. It's, this card can signify somebody who was being really manipulative. Somebody who had the, the, uh, a captive audience or some kind of power over other people and in a way where they captivate other people and make them believe them. So they may not actually be practicing magic or anything like that, but this person is very influential in their own way. Whether that be they, they're just really good at convincing people or in their circle of friends or whatever, they're just very... Like people look up to them. Think Regina George. That's what I'm feeling right now. Hold on one second, guys. I've got to get a tissue. Be right back. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting like a Mean Girls. Mean Girls kind of energy. So... With the world reverse being there, that's another major arcana. It's like something that should have ended a long time ago. Or maybe this person was kind of told to stop whatever this is and they should have stopped and they weren't listening to those signs. And now whatever this is is going to bite them in the ass. Hmm, this just flew out. What I'm feeling from this with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands that came out right after the World Reverse, it's like somebody is going to be trying to save face. They're going to be trying to save face, possibly in the form of making you a new offer. Uh, if, you, if you don't really talk to this person, they may have recently or they will be trying to come in. Hmm. And they may have been thinking about that for a while. This could be something that, like I said, it's been going on for a while and it should have been dead and done, but they, they drew it out. Mm-hmm. They need to stop, whatever this is. But I think it's too late. It's already too late. They, they should stop. The wheel's turning on them. I feel like they've been getting signals and signs to stop whatever this bullshit is that they were trying to do to you, Libra, but they have not. So, hmm, let's see what's going on with the Six of Wands. This doesn't have to be you, Libra, but it looks like it is you sitting pretty there as the Empress. Let's get clarity on the Six of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Why is the Six of Wands here with the Knight of Swords? Because it looks like this Knight of Swords is gunning for the Six of Wands. Seven of Swords, or Seven of Wands, my bad. Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles again, and the King of Swords. Yeah, ooh. And the King of Swords just decided to fall right over that choice with the Six of Wands. This is very similar to, I think it was Virgo yesterday. Or Leo and Virgo. You may have both of these somewhere highly aspected in your chart or in one of your houses, but it looks like by you just continuing to do your thing and standing up for yourself and whatever the situation is that has been going on for some time with the Six of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles, it's like somebody's been watching and waiting to see what happens, but you've been doing this the whole time. And that's bringing the truth to light, King of Swords energy. It's, it's making everyone see clearly. And because of that, if somebody else has been doing something shady and they were maybe talking badly about you, other people are seeing you and they're like, this is not adding up. There could be some sort of investigation involved in this surrounding you, and you may not even be aware unless your intuition is telling you that, but that might be going on behind the scenes. And it's majorly backfiring on whoever this person is in the Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, there's like more than one person who is either doing this or they're noticing this about this person. So it's like if they're going around behind your back talking shit, I don't think anyone's believing them. 
at this point. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And keep in mind that I like, I mean, I just have to clarify, every person has multiple signs in their chart and your different houses in your natal chart represent different things in your life. This could be anybody. It could be anyone with any sign. So just delve into your intuition. You'll know who it is in your storyline. But it's like somebody's been trying to cause confusion. Not only cause confusion, but block your options. And I feel like this is a big collective issue because it's coming out from multiple signs. But people are seeing through that. And they're walking away from this person. This person is being warned spiritually to walk away from whatever this manipulation is, but they're not listening. And when this truth comes out with the Knight of Swords, it's, it's like a fierce truth that's headed in quickly. Whatever this Page of Pentacles, that message is that's going to be coming in, you may receive it and it may enlighten you about what's going on or somebody else is going to receive this. But I feel like either way, it's going to get back to you and it's going to cause a separation. Let's get clarity on the Judgment card. Why is the Judgment card? Ooh, 11-11. Right as I said, that separation. So the separation will be good for you is what I'm feeling based on that. Um, you know, 11-11, it reduces to four, like angel protection, foundation, like, yeah. This is something you, that needs to be found out. Yeah. You're going to walk away from something. There's going to be a parting of ways. This is clarifying the judgment. Five of Pentacles. So it's like some kind of truth that's coming through with this Five of Pentacles clarifying the judgment that is going to... Hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, it's like leaving somebody out in the cold. And here's this fire energy again that we started with, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I feel like it's that energy that's being left out in the cold. 12.02 on the clock. So is there anything else from the tarot before I get to the oracles that my Libra gang needs to know for July 25th through 31st? I don't know why I'm hearing this in my head right now. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> what am I feeling from that? I feel like with Ghostbusters, it's like somebody who's been in the background working kind of against you or just trying to mess things up for you or manipulate and control you in some way. And with the I ain't afraid of no ghost, it's like no matter what they did, it hasn't worked. And you're still sitting here like this. They can't control you. Shout out to Natasha Bedingfield. You can't control me. <laughs> I got a, pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a love and I know that it's all mine. No, it's a love within yourself. And that's what they can't control. You keep pushing forward no matter what. You keep pushing forward. And that doesn't mean it's easy, but you do it. And you sit there and you still are in control of your own life. So as much as they've tried to do to stop that, look at you, King of Wands. Sitting there strong in your power. So it's like, yeah, their plans just haven't worked. Is there any advice for the Libra gang from the tarot before I jump into the oracles? Any advice for the Libra gang about how to handle this situation? What I'm feeling with this, I don't have the monology deck out here, but I'm feeling hold your vision and be strong. Don't, don't lose your character, which I, I think I said that to someone else. It might've been um, Taurus. This could involve a Taurus for you, or you may have that in your chart as well. Don't lose your cool. Keep your cool, but be strong. It's going to take your strength, whatever this information is that you find out, Libra. Okay? Um, so let's see. Yeah, because you're on top. There's no need for you to blow your gasket. This may upset you, but it hasn't changed your, your trajectory. It hasn't. You're going to be great regardless. And that might sound like bullshit, but it's not bullshit. Okay? Let's get to the tea leaf. Oh, that was very fast. I didn't even get a chance to ask. That almost rhymed. Some of you might be poets. Dog, close up. Um, what's, <laughs> sorry, what? Pleasure with a close friend. What's that about? That came out of left field. Broom, oh, look at this. New home, new attitude. So this with, um, the dog close up, it's like your life is still good. You're still moving on to other things. Like it's not interrupting your plans. If you are kind of moving in with somebody or going on a trip with a friend or something like that. Um, 
focus on that. Don't focus on whatever this deceptive, smoky, smoke and mirrors energy is doing. Because you ain't afraid of no ghost. Then we have seahorse. Family matters. This could be someone in your family who's been doing this. It sure could be. Ooh, I, really, I don't like that. There's supposed to be people you trust in your family, but that's not how it works out for some of us, especially those of us who end up on the spiritual path. I feel like it's a common thread for a lot of us that we grew up in situations that weren't exactly the most healthy. Um, but look, we end up being chosen, right? And if you're here, it's the same for you. Possibly. Hand. <laughs> in need of help, assistance, or guidance. So, hmm, maybe the person that's doing this is in need of guidance or you're gonna be wanting to talk to a close friend after you find out this information. Get the other side, because this deck is huge. Is there anything else for the Libra game? Yep. Look at that, temporary, temporary problems. So this is gonna be sorted out soon. Whatever this message is that's coming through, Egg. Yep, success assured with good plans and hard work. So keep pushing forward, my Libras. Keep pushing forward. Whatever this is, it, it's just going to be dust to brush off your shoulder, okay? And with that, I'm going to bid you adieu. I'll see you next week and check back for the other readings I do because I try to post pretty frequently, all right? Bye, Libra. Keep your head up.